Welcome to Traverse City, home of the Cherry Festival, and one of my best friends, Laura, who is pretty much one of the most badass chicks you'll ever meet. Her family owns property that is literally a stone's throw from Lake Anne. Hashtag Wanderlust Productions. So let's just say I had a rough few days off the bike. He's gonna show us some tricks. What? No hands. Laura recommended that we all check out Sleeping Bear Dunes, which apparently is one of the world's greatest natural wonders. Me too. <laughs> what? After being alone on the road for so long, it was great to be around my family again. Thanks again for an epic weekend. Maybe. So I'm back at Bear Lake for the night. Chilling, just unpacking my stuff. Chilling next to the awesome host family that I stayed with last time. And this chick at the park is accusing me of stealing my stuff. On me. I'm chilling. He's still in his car, but some people can't get it. I'm finished talking with that cop, no problem. Now he's over telling the lady what's up and like, he was actually kind of interested in what I was doing and I was just, you know, I was just myself being nice. Sweet! Bear! Sign. A little backstory on these trails through Michigan. There's this organization Organization. Made by an organization called Rails to Trails, and they take old uh, railway lines, take up the tracks, and then lay down a really nice road here for, uh, actually I think it's a multi-use so anything can go on it really, uh, other than motorized vehicles. And I even think during winter time snowmobiles are able to use it. But these things will stretch for 50 or 60 miles between major towns and cities in all over the place and this huge organization is working to pretty much do this all over the US and provide us cyclists with things like this not having to worry about cars or traffic or anything is it's it changes the whole game which sometimes can complicate things a bit well i missed the entrance to this and this is why this is marked as a rail trail. I don't think so. Should I? Nah. Check it out, guys. This is a big Dow chemical plant. It literally takes up about half this town. And it's not a small town. I don't know if you can see it. I'll pull over. Look right. Oh, I probably shouldn't go past this. All right, check this out. There it is. Green smoke. What? This is one of the better campgrounds I've stayed at in Michigan so far. It's the Gensi Otter Lake Campground. Look at that. Two fifty, free. I'm not complaining. So here's an update on what's going on. For the last few days, I have been riding south towards Detroit in hopes of meeting some of my extended family that live just outside the city. I couldn't have asked for a better reception. There's family. And there's family. And there's Pi. The next week was spent exploring the area and resupplying on essentials as well as their attempt to fatten up my skinny butt. So we're here in this old garage. 
It's been turned into a diner. Super popular place. So much on this game we should just for me. Custom bikes and custom watches in one place. And some of the best custom street art you'll ever see. And it isn't really a visit to Detroit unless you get a little Mopar love. I love you guys and thanks again. But again, back to the bike. Yeah, 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 yeah.